guys, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I hope everyone's having a really great day. Today I'm going to be sharing what fits in the Alexander Wang Ryan logo shoulder bag. I believe this is the full name. I'll leave this bag linked down below in case you're interested in it. If you're new here, my name is Talia and I love posting things about fashion, usually hauls, um, sometimes unboxings. I am a luxury newbie and I am slowly growing my collection so I will be posting more videos about that as well as some handbag reviews for pieces that I do already have in my collection and some vlogs as well as some covers and some of my own original music because I am a singer-songwriter. So if any of those things interest you, then definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you enjoy watching this video, then please hit that like button as well. So I recently unboxed this in my Christmas haul. I got this in, um, I believe right after Christmas during the sales. I had my eye on this bag for a while. I saw it first on Farfetch and then it sold out. It was already on sale, um, somewhat on sale. It wasn't quite as heavily discounted as I got it, but it sold out and then I never found it again. And I just decided to check out the Alexander Wang sales on the website. And then I found this for, I think it was like 30 or 40% off. Um, so I have already talked about this bag a little bit. She was featured in my best and worst luxury purchases. Actually, the sweater was also featured in that as well. So I'll leave that video linked up above if you're interested in watching that one. Um, learned my lesson. This is a satin bag and I got a little bit of oil on it and it made huge stains. I cleaned them off literally within a, an hour, so you can't see them anymore. Um, in my opinion, the bag was slightly darkened in color when I washed. I washed all of it just so that there wouldn't be any variations in colors just in case and I feel like it got a little bit darker but then again when I look at it when I look at the video again I'm like was there anything wrong with it? I'm not sure but anyways I love this bag and um, it is kind of a deceivingly small bag. It's definitely a bag that fits a lot more than you might think so in case anybody's interested in this style I believe they have a larger version as well um, and I think the the space within the bag is pretty much the same, but the strap might be a little bit longer, so it's a little bit more comfortable to wear as a shoulder bag. Um, so I'll leave both options linked down below if you're interested in either of them. But yeah, so I just wanted to show what can fit inside this bag if you're interested in it. It is basically a black pit. <laughs> it's um, kind of difficult to see inside, but there is one pocket. It is a very spacious pocket in here. Let me see if I can show at least where my hand is. So it does open very wide and it goes very deep. Right now I just have my little Alexander Wang um, authentication card thingy in here, but um, definitely a handy pocket to have to easily reach into. The bag is not very secure. Um, this is kind of like a drawstring closure, but at least initially it's very stiff. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind if you're thinking about this bag. But let's just go ahead and jump right into what all fits in this bag. So I'm going to start with wallets. Now, um, obviously, I have my small little Tory Burch wallet, which is about height and um, length of a card holder, but thickness, it's a little bit wider. So that obviously fits very well in here. And I actually like to use this deep pocket that it features for my, um, for my wallet. Let me see if I can show this. So as you can see that it's pretty much taking up the entire space of that uh, pocket. So just to kind of to give you an idea of how deep that pocket is, it's perfect, exactly um, long enough for a card holder to fit in there. Now, I actually could fit my long wallet in addition to my small wallet in here, but I probably would only be keeping one of them. So I'm going to go ahead and flatten this pocket out that I have my small wallet in and show my long wallet. It does fit very well in here. Takes up about maybe half of the height of the bag. Yeah, it definitely doesn't take up too much space at all in here. The next most important to me would be hand sanitizer. So this one I'm gonna slip into that pocket that is right there. I got these two little inserts from Sam Morga recently um, when I got my chain for my YSL bag. So these are actually super handy for this bag, which is a black pit of a, of a little bag. So I'm going to go ahead and use that to make sure I can find my items again. So I'm going to go with my new favorite Merit Mascara. I um, was recently gifted that and featured it in my right before my YSL unboxing, I believe. So I'll leave that video linked above or below, one of the two, along with um, the Merit. I don't remember what this is called, but it's kind of like eyebrow tint, basically. 
Packaging is so beautiful. Look at that. Actually, they go in here. There we go. So it could probably fit one more item. Yeah, let's actually put, this is my absolute favorite Dior uh, mascara maximizers for your eyelashes. Makes your eyelashes look super huge without having to wear fake ones, which I love. So all three of these and drop that in and barely any space has been taken up by that. Then moving on into some smaller items. Let's go with my favorite Dior Lip Shine and adding my Chanel um, Lip Moisturizer. I got this one, I got actually the little Chanel Christmas gift set. So I highly recommend those sets, they're really cute. Um, so adding this in the bag, then we can still fit more. So adding definitely my keys. Now I might add those into the pocket as well so I can easily find them. Now, let me see if I can show you without everything falling around. Now it's about half full, but still a good amount of space right here for um, how much space is remaining if I want to chop it off. I can definitely add a mask in there, no problem. Um, if I want to have a larger hand sanitizer, or this is maybe about the size of a small perfume, I could definitely fit that in very easily as well. So that's about all that I have to show in this bag. But as you can see, it is almost full, definitely maybe a mask and a hair tie, um, some smaller items fit on the top. Uh, you could fit both a small wallet and a large wallet. So definitely packs a punch. It is getting a little bit heavy now, as you can see with um, how much it's pulling on the strap here. So, you know, be careful. Don't fill it up too much because it will get pretty heavy very fast, but definitely have lots of space to fit all your essentials and anything else you might need or want. So that's all of what fits inside the Alexander Wang Ryan logo shoulder bag. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, definitely consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see how I style this bag, check out my Instagram at Talia Sophia with an underscore at the end. I will definitely be posting pictures of this bag eventually. Um, once it gets warmer, cause it's randomly super cold all of a sudden, hence why I'm in my cozy little bottom sky to sweater. Um, but yeah, but thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.